It is the 1st of the 6th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. I should be uh, upgrading to my new camera very soon. I do have the financing available. Thankfully, I didn't need any help from anybody. Thanks for all the offers. Um, and should be back on track in time for the Venus transit on the 5th, which I plan on capturing. Uh, we're supposed to get a pretty good shot here in Iowa of that. Off to SOP.net. Record-setting New Mexico fire expected to burn for weeks. A smoky ha haze hangs over the rugged canyons of, and tree-covered expansions of the southwestern New Mexico as the largest wildfire in state's recorded history marches across more of the, of the Gala wilderness. A last chemical gas for bees? Question mark. Colony collapse disorder threatens food crops valued at 15 billion a year. New research says from farm chemicals put on our food system at risk. The new uh, published scientific evidence is bolstering calls for a greater regulation of some of the world's most widely used pest pesticides and genetically modified crops. We know this has been trouble since the very beginning. And if the bees go, we're in serious trouble. Super volcanoes can form and erupt in hundreds of years, not thousands, says new findings. Again, they're just guessing. 500 evacuated from vicinity of Colombia's uh, Nevado del, Riz, del Ruz volcano. A light spewing of ash amid renewed rumblings in the, in the volcano prompted Colombian authorities to evacuate 500 people from beneath its flanks and briefly suspended flights at four airports. Growing unrest, preventative alert declared for three Costa Rican volcanoes. So in Costa Rica we have three volcanoes gearing up, uh, more, more volcanic activity. Uh, Montreal floods, heavy rain causes power failures, shut down parts of the metro. Some pretty extensive videos come out on that. And uh, let me see what else is going on. Big sinkhole. North Korean farmers cite grave drought aid unlikely. Um, so the North Koreans are reporting a severe, severe drought, but since they launched that missile, or that satellite, um, we have cut aid from that country. Over to the extinction protocols, another volcano, Mexico's Popo Volcano, unleashes Tower of Ash. Uh, the volcano has blasted a Tower of Ash over nearby towns and villages, prompting authorities to consider the possibility of evacuations. Hmm, how much is that going to cost? And it sits roughly halfway between Mexico City and the, and the city of uh, Puebla, meaning some 25 million people live within 90 kilometers radius of the volcano. Quite an expensive endeavor to uh, evacuate all those people in a major eruption. Uh, here's a strange story. Electric Earth. Scientists dismayed by pulse emitted from Earth's during May 17th CME. After an unusually long quiet period, the sun unleashed a solar flare on May 17th this year. But scientists are now puzzled over what happened on Earth. Neutron monitors all around the world lit up in response to the blast for the first time in six years, despite the fact that it was an M-class or moderate flare. The answering pulse shouldn't have happened at all. Now uh, scientists are trying to unravel what happened and why our planet pulsed in response. Strange things happening with our magnetosphere, huh? More war drum stuff, more economy stuff, more zombie stuff. It's not basalts, people. Um, 3.5 magnitude earthquake strikes the big island of Hawaii, and that's where all the big volcanoes are. Uh, there's no tsunami threat following the 3.5 magnitude earthquake reported 11:15 uh, a.m. Thursday, May 31st, on the Hawaiian island. Uh, nobody's hurt, but it's a pretty big uh, vol uh, earthquake for that. That's definitely volcanic in nature, I'm guessing. And of course, if we don't have enough to worry about, NASA confirms the Milky Way galaxy on collision course with the Andromeda galaxy. So uh, we've all seen the, the dynamic 
videos where these two galaxies combine and move off or one swallows another. Well, it's bound to happen to us. Um, it's going to take about four billion years to happen, so we got a little time to, to figure out what's going on. And... That's about all new they've got going on. Over to the RSOE real quick. Let's see. Got to get back up here. Of course, uh, they're still dealing with the aftermath of the, the big earthquakes in Italy. Flash flooding in Uganda. Da, da, da. It's like some pretty severe algae blooms red tide in Tasmania. Flash flooding in the Philippines. And of course the heat wave continues in India and Pakistan. Over to the nuclear stuff. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to cover. Professor, uh, California nuclear professor, radioactive tuna may raise cancer risks. Thanks for letting me know that. Nuclear expert, it's not advisable to eat bluefin tuna. Fukushima radiation deposited over 600,000 square miles of the Pacific's cesium crosses um, placental barrier of animals uh, because these fish migrate it. They, they go faster than the currents. Uh, the radiation is increasing and I wouldn't eat any fish out of the Pacific and or the Gulf of Mexico and Atlantic because all that corrects it's moved up through the Atlantic by now and it's affecting the wildlife there. New photos show what remains of number four reactor building's eastern wall, uh, Fukushima Daiichi. Um, they looks to me like they've removed uh, the walls through and around the the, the holding pool, and um, they're getting ready to do some work there, kind of thing. I uh, highly advise you to take a look at the pictures. Uh, it definitely can tell the difference. They've been doing some work down there. U.S. government memo: nuclear fallout in ocean does not, I repeat, does not gradually spread out. Streams of higher radioactive materials are flowing through. Uh, report, we've started to see the black substances in Soma City. Please be careful, explanation point. High radiation levels. What is this mysterious black soot covering Japan? With all those open incinerators, I wonder. Japanese nuclear expert, when I try to figure out the true magnitude of the damage, I am overwhelmed. Almost all of Fukushima Prefecture would be abandoned if government regulations were truly applied. And they should be. Even if the Japanese government goes into bankruptcy, it still won't be enough to compensate all the damages that will be produced from Fukushima Daiichi. And they continue to promote nuclear energy and try to build more. Uh, nuclear plants around the world. Nuclear energy is a crime against humanity and should be punishable. Uh, former head of Japan's number one newspaper worked with the CIA to promote nuclear power. Big surprise there. And uh, CNN Japanese government quote, will simply flat out lie, unquote, about Fukushima. Advisor to Prime Minister Ken, people cannot trust the government. You can't trust the mainstream media. Uh, you can't really trust anything unless you look this stuff up for yourself. I highly, I highly, highly encourage you uh, to find stories much like these. Post videos, even if they're very short, and put them on YouTube, okay? The more hits they get when they do a Google search for Fukushima or nuclear disaster or any of these things to check and see if we're paying attention. If these numbers spike, if we can get the hits to 500, 1,000, 15, 100,000 hits a day, you think we can get our word out that way? Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.